Welcome to Point Blank, brought to you by Fitz Roofing. I'm Brandon Strange of Sports Map Houston. That's Joel Blake. You can catch him weekdays from uh, noon to 3 p.m. on ESP 97.5 and 92.5. If you haven't yet, please hit subscribe on the channel. We do appreciate it. Hey, Joel, welcome in. Uh, this week, we heard from Tim McMahon on Brian Windhorse podcast that the Rockets are not in a hurry to trade Eric Gordon. They want to get value in return, but also want to send him to a contender. Quote, Rafael Stone wants to have a reputation as somebody who tries to do right by players. Joel, we, we've talked to this ad nauseum on this channel, but Rafael Sp- Stone spent a lot of time uh, and a lot of years under the wing of Daryl Morey. Gordon's killing it out on the court this year uh, for a rebuilding team. This is a great asset to have. How much of this is posturing on the part of Stone, playing coy about trading Gordon? And how much is this is that Moryism uh, being held hostage almost by players and their perception of the team. It's crazy because you look at what Daryl Morey is doing with Ben Simmons and trying to hype the value of Ben Simmons when he should just be happy to get Ben Simmons to his next next destination. When you look at Rafael Stone, it's similar. I mean, Eric Gordon has shown everything he needed to show that he can still play, but he's doing nothing to help you right now because with every minute and every shot, he's taking away minutes and shots from the young kids you're trying to develop. I think Stone's ideal uh, schedule would be to get as many teams interested and everybody jumping on the bandwagon to try and get involved. But there is something to be said about the fact that he does firmly believe that he wants to be known as a guy that takes care of his players because we all know that Russell Westbrook left because he didn't think Rafael Stone should be the general manager. James Harden left for other reasons, but yet he got James Harden traded to the only team James Harden wanted to go to instead of getting the best offer for him. So there's an issue in the fact that what Stone is trying to do is nice in terms of in the gossip market in terms of he's a good guy. He takes care of players. But the bad thing is, is with every time he takes care of a player, it doesn't seem to help the organization a whole lot. Eric Gordon's one of the assets you still have left that could bring you a pretty good value in return. And that's what needs to be the thought and the number one goal in any move that's made for Eric Gordon, Christian Wood, even if there's some way to trade John Wall. You need to get the most in return. It doesn't have to be to a contending team or a championship caliber team. It has to be to a team that's willing to give you what you want in return. Uh, I want to talk about a possible package that we're hearing rumblings on for Eric Gordon. Before I do that, give us a word from Fitz Roofing. We love Fitz Roofing, man. They're, they're the best in the business. They take care of Houstonians on a daily basis. They do so much more than roofing, but they're known because they do the best job fixing leaky roofs on your business or your home or putting a whole new roof on the structure. They do all that and so much more. Go to fitzroofing.com to see all the ways they can help you. I'll call 832-521-3001 and get a free no-obligation inspection, and they'll come to you and tell you what they can do for absolutely free. Fitz Rufin making a difference one home at a time. Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report was on a podcast this week, and he listed Eric Gordon as a person of interest for the Cavs. They would be interested in acquiring him uh, in a package that would surround uh, Ricky Rubio's expiring contract and a first round pick. If I'm the Rockets, I jump on that deal quick. However, the Cavs, while being a playoff team, uh, maybe aren't really a contender. First part of this question is, would you do that deal? And second part, are the Rockets really going to miss out on a deal because they're holding out for a contender to deal with? That's the one thing that you got to be real careful about because that's one that's a it's a very very fine line. You don't want to miss out on making any deal. He has to go. He should. You guys know. I've said all along. He should have gone before the season started. The last de- ditch efforts have to be made before the deadline. You can't have Eric Gordon on your roster after the deadline. So you got to be careful in terms of the Rubio deal. Anytime you can get a pick in return, especially a first round pick, no matter where it lies, that's a great deal for the Rockets. Rubio's not going to play. He's out for the season. So you weren't going to have to worry about finding minutes for him, and it expires at the end of the year. So it does you another favor there gets out for many further years on the Gordon contract that you might've had to take back in return. I make that deal in a heartbeat and I start stockpiling in the, in the whole Sam Presti, Oklahoma city mold that you can never have enough first round picks. I stockpile first round picks. And that should be one of my number one goals in any move for any veteran on the Rockets roster. 